Hawassa University. Hawassa University is part of the beauty of Hawassa City that itself is named after Lake Hawassa. The university borrows its name from Hawassa City, one of the rapidly growing beauties at the heart of the great Ethiopian Rift Valley. The history of Hawassa University began in 1976 with the establishment of the then Owasa Junior College of Agriculture under the auspices of Addis Ababa University, now renamed College of Agriculture. The college started its operations admitting about 200 students in four programs. The academic staff profile of the college by then was about 30. Another college in the history of Hawassa University is Wando Gannett College of Forestry, now renamed as Wando Gannett College of Forestry and Natural Resources. It was established in 1977 to train professionals in the field of forestry. It is the only institution in the country that trains professionals in the field of forestry, wildlife, and natural resources management to date. Hawassa University, HU, was established in 2000 with the name Dabub University through the merger of three independently operating colleges in the southern region, namely Hawassa College of Agriculture, Wando Gennett College of Forestry and Natural Resources, and Dila College of Teacher Education and Health Sciences, now Dila University. Making a structural reform in 2000, the university reorganized itself into four campuses, where its campuses have now reached six at present. There are the College of Agriculture, Wando Gannett College of Forestry and Natural Resources, College of Medicine and Health Sciences, the main campus, Awada campus, and the Institute of Technology. College of Agriculture. College of Agriculture is the oldest college of HU situated at the heart of the town located near Lake Hawassa. It was established in 1976 as a junior college of agriculture under the auspices of Addis Ababa University. Currently the college has four schools, offers agriculture related academic programs, and short-term training from undergraduate to PhD levels. Wando Gannett College of Forestry and Natural Resources it was established in 1977 to train professionals in the area of forestry and is the first of its kind in Ethiopia. It is situated 35 kilometers west of Hawassa at Wando Gannett Town. The college has three schools. It offers forestry and natural resources related academic programs from undergraduate to PhD levels. College of Medicine and Health Sciences. It is the home for HU's referral hospital, which is mainly serving the Southern and Aromia regions. It was established in 1997 in the then Dila College of Teacher Education and Health Sciences at Dila Town. It was moved to Hawassa City in 2002. It offers academic programs in medicine and health sciences at the undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate levels. The main campus. The main campus is located at the northern side of Hawassa City by the highway on Addis to Moyali. It is the seat of the top management of Hawassa University and a home for three colleges. It was established in 2000. Some call it a city within a city for its impressive landscape and beautiful buildings. The Awada Campus, a recent establishment that became operational in 2012, is the Awada Campus, which is situated at Awada, near the historic Urgalam town, 45 kilometers south of Hawassa. The Awada Campus is home for College of Business and Economics. 
the Institute of Technology campus. This is also one of the youngest campuses of Hawassa University, established adjacent to the main campus. It is a home for the undergraduate and postgraduate programs in engineering and technology, hosting about 9,000 students alone. At present, within its five campuses, Hawassa University has seven colleges and one institute, Institute of Technology, and 35 schools and departments, which run 71 graduate and 57 postgraduate programs. This comprehensive university currently has 1,300 academic staff, about 4,700 support staff, and more than 31,000 students. Today, Hawassa University is one of the well-established universities in the country, known for its quality education, multidisciplinary and problem-solving research, and its wide range of community services. By setting teaching, learning, research, and community service as its major pillars, Hawassa University strives to realize its vision to be the best in the nation, competent in Africa, and internationally accredited. Teaching, learning. HU is significantly contributing in the boosting of human capital in the nation by producing all-rounded graduates who are equipped with both theoretical and practical knowledge. To that end, HU adopted learner-centered methodologies and modularized undergraduate curricula. Cognizant of the significance of teaching, learning, and research facilities for quality education, the university has worked to establish plenty of classrooms with state-of-the-art facilities, well-equipped laboratories, libraries with extensive collections, broadband internet service including wireless access in most campuses. Research and Technology Transfer Although conducting research is a long-time trend in HU's history, they have historically been limited in number and scope. Moreover, the results of the study were not quite ready for shelf consumption. However, in the last decade, HU has changed its research philosophy, catering for problem-solving and life-impacting research being conducted by its faculty and researchers in collaboration with other donors. Most of the research by HU has been conducted in the 12 technology villages the university identified after conducting a baseline survey. At present, about 200 research projects are being conducted by the staff using funds from government and collaborative organizations. Furthermore, hundreds of research projects are conducted by graduate students pursuing their Ph.D. and master's degree studies. Currently, HU has over 40 collaborative projects that are making significant contributions in building the human and material capacity of the university and in generating and disseminating appropriate technologies. Community Service HU is providing a wide range of community services in various forms with the aim of improving the livelihood of society and contributing to the development of the country. Among its major services are the transfer of agricultural technologies to farmers in its technology villages that help boost productivity of major crops such as maize, food barley, malt barley, wheat, teff, potatoes, common beans, faba beans, and others. Various short-term trainings to youth and women in the areas of landscaping and town beautification, poultry production, mushroom cultivation, beekeeping, animal health and nutrition, human nutrition, with the overall objective being creation of employment, increasing supply of needed products and services, and improved livelihood of communities. Training of school teachers and educational leaders from Technology Village Waredas in the area of teaching methods of subjects such as English, mathematics, science, and educational leadership to improve quality of education. Healthcare services to thousands of people from SNNPR, Aromia region, and beyond through its referral hospital. 
financial, material, and technical support to trainees who plan to engage in entrepreneurial activities. Research Centers at HU Hawassa University has three research centers that are engaged in research and or training. These include the Center for Policy and Development Research, CPDR. This center is doing research in the areas of policy development, especially in the areas of food security, climate change and environment, innovation and technology transfer, and governance and policy. CPDR is also training students at Ph.D. and Master's degree levels. The Center for Ethiopian Rift Valley Studies. This center is engaged in doing all-rounded and multidisciplinary research and development in the Rift Valley areas of Ethiopia to contribute towards sustainable utilization of natural resources and improved livelihoods in the region. Center of Excellence for Entrepreneurship Development trains students, staff, and communities on business and entrepreneurial skills to enable them to benefit from their innovations.